So John, here we are again. We've never met before. <laughs> <laughs> from time to time, John and I find ourselves sitting across from each other, sometimes with a pizza, right? Yes, yeah, absolutely. Sometimes with a Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Very nice. And so what I want to do is I want to talk to John a little bit. I want to find out what makes him tick, right? So when did you learn to dive? 88. What was going on in 1988 that you decided to learn to dive? You know what happened in 88? I had talked about No, John, diving. what happened in 88? <laughs> 1988, I was a friend of mine, and I had been talking about scuba diving for over 20 years. Holy smokes. And we had never got our butt off the ground. 68. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. 67. Okay. 21 years. <laughs> we talked about it. And then in 88, he was driving by uh, a dive operation in the city, and he saw a sign in the window and said, dive lessons. Brilliant 129 or whatever it was. <laughs> and he said, uh, it was a good friend of mine, he said, he phoned me and he says, John, he says, I've decided to sign us up for scuba diving lessons. Cool. I says, well, it's about time. <laughs> <laughs> so that's where I started. I took my first lesson and it was... Unreal. It was, uh, I've never looked back. When you went uh, from there, did you, did you find yourself out on any uh, travels? Like, you know, you did some diving locally and that. Where was the first place you went to that was away from home? First place I went to was Cuba. Ha! Huh. I thought it was just fascinating. Did you talk to Raul and Fidel? No, or? no, no, no. No, just, no. just went diving. No, I was there and I had a little Nikonis camera. Ah, very no good. strobes, no nothing. Yeah. All my pictures were green. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. it was to me, I could, to see, I could see all the wonderful fish that were on that picture and I was just, I, I, I made my wife so sad because I made her watch my 1,200 slides. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I would spend five minutes describing each picture. That's so mean. <laughs> that is so mean. Um, and in that trip, was there a, 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 any aha moments that led you forward other than don't do the 1,200 slides with your wife again? Oh, yes. Well, I think probably one of the most impressive things about diving in Cuba was uh, the wall. We were dry, diving and we went 70 feet was the depth of the, the, the ocean. And then you reach the wall. And when you reach the edge of the wall, you look straight over and it's uh, 2,300 meters. Or cool. Straight down. No ledges, no nothing. Just like somebody took a knife and just cut through it. And we looked over that and I thought, oh my God, this is just incredible. And to this day, I get shivers when I think about it. How, how did you find yourself um, um, going forward with the education. Was there, were, did you have those moments where you look at it and you go, okay, you know what, you're on the edge of the wall, I'd like to be able to do a bit more, I, I can't do that. But did you find that, did that you experienced restriction and that needed to do training to get Well, when I started doing my training, what I did was I went to um, Vancouver. Mm -hmm. And of course, I was there for a week and I did my open water and my advanced all in one little package. Right. And it was Fantastic, because then I was used to diving deep, I was used to diving dark, I was used to all of this stuff. Yeah, you didn't have a space in between the two, so you just had the good I just went straight all, through. All along, all yeah. along the way. There was four of us together, and we had a wonderful right. time, yeah. How do you find uh, working with the community here locally, the diving community? Oh, very good. Everybody's... Eh, the one thing I like about diving is uh, the people you meet. Mm -hmm. When I've done classes, I don't do much teaching anymore, but when I've done classes and, and you're teaching young kids, yeah. Like, you know, in their teens, and they might be rude and terrible, and you start teaching them to scuba dive, and by the end, I don't know, something like a light switch goes on in their head, and all of a sudden they're more polite. Yeah, yeah, and then they go diving, and they come back, and it's like a different kid. Note to parents, right? remember, you've got their, your, their life's in your hand, you have to remind yes. them that. Right? <laughs> and all of a sudden they're yeah. your best friend. It's like, you know, it's, they see yeah. how to do that. And then over the years, a lot of the relationships we had, while uh, there was five of us instructors that used to hang around together and that's why we built this place. Right. Yeah, we built this to, because we thought we wanted to have the, the dive operation in this country. You did a beautiful job, right? A very beautiful Thank job. Thank you. Um, advice to somebody who might be sitting on the fence? Well, I think what you do is you just do a, a slow progression and you just start, if you're an open water diver, you move on to advanced or yeah. move into an MSDT program and you just slowly move ahead. And then when you have all of your uh, uh, regular sort of recreational diving, then you look at uh, a dive master program. And from there, it's, you just don't stop. Right. When, when I, I did a, a dive master program with one guy, um, and what he did it, he did it so that when he dove with his children, 
he'd be able to take care of anything that would happen. That's brilliant. And that was his philosophy, and I said, that's, that's just wonderful. I've got okay. one last question with three answers. Uh-oh. Right. <laughs> Is it multiple choice? Yeah, no, no, it's, you can give all three. What are your three, what are three, not necessarily your favorite, what are, what are three outstanding dive sites that you've been to, and what makes them outstanding? Well, my number one dive site right now would have to be the Galapagos. Okay. I was there for two weeks this past year, and I'm going for another week next year. The aquatic life is just incredible. The, uh, it's, it's everywhere. The turtles, there was turtles like you people sitting here in the room. Turtles everywhere. And um, I was telling Dang Randy turtles earlier. turtles in the way of the, taking a picture. Like, get out of here. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to take no, a picture. You have to push them out of the way. There's too many turtles. And they don't care about you. They're just, <laughs> they just don't realize that you could be a problem to them, so they just lay there. <laughs> and I just swim right up to you. I had one turtle that swam up to me and then swam to the, my buddy that was beside me and then swam back and he just kept going back and forth between us and then finally he got bored and swam away. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. My second most uh, favorite dive would have to be Scapaflo, Scotland. Ah. And that's because we dove on the World War I German fleet that was scuttled uh, June 21st, 1919. And that was, the dive itself was dark, deep and hard, but it was the history. I mean, it was seeing these ships upside down underwater. It just, it's, it's just beautiful. Island. Right? Island. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it had nothing to do with the yeah. pubs after? No, 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 no. no. Okay. We did have, find some pubs, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Absolutely. And then my, I guess the third one would have to be, um, you know, of all places, be Cozumel again. Mm -hmm. I just went back. I haven't been to Cozumel in over 15 years. And I went back this year. And I thoroughly enjoyed the drift diving. Uh, it, was, it was just, it was just wonderful. The current yeah. moves through there. And you the just current get just the moves you. Yeah. And you don't have to work. No, no work. You just you sort just, of you. hang there and do 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 do. And you know, an hour and something later, you come up and get on the boat. Not bad. Yeah. Okay, you passed all the questions. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.